Now to that man who was hit by lightning in the Middlesex County town of Woodbridge. He is alive tonight thanks to the fast action of a police officer who revived him on the soccer field of a middle school in the neighborhood of Islam. He's now at Robert Wood Johnson Hospital in New Brunswick. I would support Stefan Kim live at the hospital with what happened today. Stefan. Well, Bill, that man is not only alive, he is here at the hospital alert and conscious, surrounded by his wife, several co-workers, and the mayor. But when the police officer first arrived on scene and got to him, he had no pulse. A bolt of lightning over the soccer field at Island Middle School. It struck a Woodbridge Township Public Works employee. It was really like a bomb. It was like a huge bomb. I saw it out of the window, the guy went down. He's flat on the floor. I did see a very large lightning strike, and I, you know, I said to myself, wow, it seemed really close. That's because it was. Woodbridge police officer Robert R.J. McPartland was assigned at a high school right next door when the call came over around 1230. 39-year-old Eric Baumgartner was painting lines on the field when he was struck. Officer McPartland arrived within seconds. Baumgartner's hands were burned. He didn't have a pulse and began CPR. Uh, it was apparent that he was struck by lightning. Uh, he was still holding one of the machines. We were able to get that away from him. And uh, when more units arrived, we were able to get the AED hooked up to him and start breathing for him. Uh, shortly after, first aid arrived. Once we were in the ambulance and he did get a pulse back, he did slowly begin to gain consciousness. While he was on scene still, he wasn't uh, talking yet, but he was starting to move his, his limbs and, and uh, wake up a little bit. Now, we also spoke with one of Baumgartner's co-workers who was in the back of the ambulance with him and says he knew who he was but didn't know what happened to him, who could blame him. He's expected to make a full recovery. The Woodbridge Township mayor has no doubt he's lucky to be alive, and that's all thanks to the quick actions of that officer. 